Greetings, lovers of lore. Thank you for joining me for another installment of Fun Magic the Gathering Lore. We are here today to talk about an interesting planeswalker, one who started out as a hero, but is slowly walking down the path towards becoming a villain. We're going to be talking today about Luca. Now, Luca, when we first met him, resided in the city of Dranith on the plain of Ikoria. Luca served with the Coppercoats. The Coppercoats were the martial organization that was in charge of protecting Dranith. And Luca had been a member of the Coppercoats for over a decade. In fact, he was so effective that he had been promoted up through the ranks and for the last two years had been in charge of the first special intercept squad. Unbeknownst to Luca, his entire destiny was about to change when a gigantic tiger with wings managed to make its way into the city of Dranith. This cat caused a huge disturbance in a certain location in the city, and Luca and his squad were sent out to investigate and determine what was causing the problem. As soon as they arrived on the scene, the cat burst through a wall and slew multiple members of Luca's squad. And even worse for Luca, the first moment that he laid eyes upon the cat, something terrible and wondrous at the same time occurred. Magic crackled in the air and Luca could feel within himself there was a new presence. He could feel anger and confusion. It didn't take long for him to realize that these emotions were the emotions of the winged cat. The giant monolith known as the Ozolith had caused, essentially, a number of unintended bondings across Ikoria. And now Luca was victim of this phenomena, permanently linked to this cat against his will. This posed a very big problem for Luca, as being a bonder in the city of Dranith was a crime. Luca was charged with upholding order in the city, and now he himself was a criminal. His mind raced as he returned to the Coppercoats barracks. It didn't take long for the head of the Coppercoats, General Kudro, to catch on to what was going on, causing Luca to feel the need to flee Dranith for his life, leaving not only his job behind, but also the woman he loved, who happened to be the daughter of the general. As he escaped out of the city of Dranith, he encountered the planeswalker Vivian Reed, who assisted him in escaping from the clutches of the city's guards. She had been attracted to the city because she was able to feel the bonding between Luca and the great winged cat. After befriending Vivian, Luca was able to learn from her about the Ozolith. Intrigued about the Ozolith's connection to him and this cat, Luca set out to learn about the Ozolith and ultimately ended up linking with the Ozolith. This had the unfortunate effect of making him more powerful, but also unhinging his mind even further. Luca was already under a great strain after having his entire life flipped upside down, but the power that was coursing through him caused his distress to magnify. Luca used the power granted to him by the Ozlith to gather beasts from all over Ikoria, forging them together into a giant force. His plan was to head back to the city of Dranith, present this squad of monsters, and convince the general that he could be of much help defending the city. Ultimately, even though he felt betrayed and hunted, Luca was still loyal to Dranith and wanted to serve. Alas, it was not to be, as General Kudro was not interested in anything Luca had to say. In a fit of pique, Luca killed General Kudro. Luca sought to take over the city of Dranith at that point and attempted to reunite with the general's daughter who he was still in love with. But unexpectedly for him, she turned against Luca and actually ended up recruiting a number of bonders from outside the city of Dranith to hold him off and ultimately drive him away. As the battle turned against him, Luca drew more and more power from the Ozolith. But power has a limit, and so did the Ozolith. It exploded into fragments. As this explosion occurred, there was also an explosion with inside Luca. Unbeknownst to him, he had a planeswalker spark residing within him. 
His planeswalker spark ignited, and Luca was flung across the blind eternities, unable to control his destination. He ended up landing in a swamp. He didn't know where he was, but he found that some of the power that he commanded through the Ozolith remained, and he was able to control beasts in this new strange land. The next time we saw Luca, he had made his way to the world of Arcavios, home of Strixhaven, the massive school of magical knowledge. By this point, his bonding power had grown. Now, when Luca bonded with creatures, he would also contort his features, taking on bestial aspects in his face, and also things like his hands turning into claws. As he traveled through Arcavios, he used his bonding power first to lure game to him so that he could survive and have meals. But ultimately, he encountered a six-legged fire-breathing fox that he named Mila and bonded with. While he had wandered the plain of Arcavios, he kept being mistaken for a member of the Orik. The Orik were a shadowy organization that sought to overthrow the natural order on the plain of Arcavios. The leader of the Arik, by the name of Extus, had otherworldly knowledge. He had become aware of planeswalkers. He found out about Luca and approached him, explaining that not only did he have knowledge of planeswalkers, but he had knowledge that would be beneficial to Luca himself. Luca, enticed by this offer, ended up teaming up with the Orik, and they launched a massive attack on the school of Strixhaven, with Luca commanding the dangerous and demented mage hunters. Ultimately, this attack on the school of Strixhaven failed when the founder dragons appeared to drive off the Orik. At that point, Luca decided to cut his losses and he departed with the remaining members of the Orik in tow. That was the last that we saw of Luca, and it leads to the question, will we see him return the head of a shadowy organization determined to overthrow Strixhaven and maybe reach even further out into the multiverse? All right, my friends, well, I hope you enjoyed this Magic the Gathering lore. I certainly found the character of Luca to be pretty compelling overall. If you enjoy the lore videos that are being created on this channel, consider supporting our work on Patreon or through channel memberships. I'll see you all for the next story. And remember, lore is life.